Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed about atheists. We're full of ourselves. Come on, fellow atheists. On the whole, in general, we do take to self-satisfaction rather easily, do we not? And I don't even think it has anything to do with our atheism, necessarily, which encourages humility, really, at least as far as our view of ourselves and our place in the world is concerned. Now, I think it has more to do with how we perceive our position relative to that of theists. We really think that we're right and they're wrong. And we think that we're right not because of some revelation planted in our minds by oh, let's say, the Holy Spirit, we think that we're right because we have data, we have evidence, we have arguments, we have reasons for thinking the things that we think because we actually care about whether or not something is true. And there's not a goddamn thing wrong with that. It's the only way that makes any sense to me, but it does lead some of us to act like some insufferable bastards from time to time. We are condescending. I was going to say we're holier than thou, but I didn't think that would sound right. What with the atheism. This is another negative quality that I find atheists, myself included, displaying without really realizing it. And like our smugness, I think our tone of condescension comes from us feeling that we're right. We're smarter. We know more than religious people. God damn it, we're better educated. We're better informed. Our YouTube personalities are much more witty and articulate and handsome. But I digress. Not to let us off the hook again, but speaking for myself, I think all of the times in the past when I have come across as condescending or superior, uh, pretty much whenever I talk about how much better atheist morality is, to cite one big fucking neon billboard of an example. It's been because I was either unaware of how off-putting my tone was, or I was aware, but I just didn't give a shit. And if you don't care about the conversation, or if you are more interested in just preaching to the choir, I guess this isn't important to you. But if, like me, you are primarily interested in having conversations with people, it's something to watch. We're too hung up on trivialities. I'm not talking about things that are sometimes mentioned as trivialities, like having in God we trust on American currency or chaplains in the military. I actually don't think those issues are trivial at all. I mean when atheists argue amongst ourselves over questions like, is atheism a worldview? Is atheism a belief? Should we be nice to agnostics? I'm talking about when we quibble amongst ourselves, when we react to any use of the word faith, like a vampire being shown a crucifix. I mean, look, I've already said in other videos, depending on the sense in which you are using the word faith, I have no problem at all describing atheism as a faith position, because faith can mean trust or a reasonable expectation just as much as it can mean a religious belief. I think you should make the distinction, but there's no reason to treat the word faith as toxic in every possible usage. I personally am far less interested in arguing with fellow atheists about what atheism is. I'm way more interested in talking with fellow atheists and with non-atheists about why we're atheists. We forget how diverse we are. Atheism is a belief, or an opinion, or a conclusion, or a position, whatever, pertaining to the existence of gods. You can infer a lot of other things based on that belief, but essentially, it's a narrow field. To call yourself an atheist is to call yourself an atheist, is not to call yourself a liberal, or an environmentalist, or a feminist, or a supporter of LGBT rights, and an atheist who opposes same-sex marriage, who favors income tax cuts for the wealthy, who supports drilling for oil in Anwar, is just as much of an atheist as anyone who doesn't believe in the existence of gods. And I only bring this up because in the past few months some of you have asked me what I think about Atheism Plus. And the answer is 
I am all for Atheism Plus. I share its goals, I share its causes, I share its concerns, but it's very important to me that all of us remember, particularly those who identify or sympathize with Atheism Plus, that Atheism Plus is Atheism Plus. It is not Atheism. Atheists are a diverse bunch and we should stay that way. And one atheist should never be thought of as less authentic than another because of his or her political philosophy. We favor debate over conversation. I love a good adversarial argument as much as the next guy, and I am all for being confrontational when the situation calls for it. But I think a lot of us internet atheists tend to default to attack mode when confronted with a theist. And that bothers me. As I said already in this video, I prefer conversation to debate. And that's not out of some desire to reach out to the religious community or to make friends or to put a cuddlier face on atheism. It's because conversation, where there's listening as well as talking, where the goal is not so much persuasion as it is mutual understanding, is just more interesting and more fun to me. And that's really all I care about. Did you see the previous video in this series? I'm self-absorbed. The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.